Very, very dead. Wow. Uh, I would be too if I was sitting above an exhaust. You can see that my center support bearing looks fine. Been through a few of those, haven't we? Alright, the last one. Fuck yeah. This is it, okay, this is it. This is it. Use my head as a stand for a second. So it doesn't fall. To be pretty careful because believe it or not it's actually pretty hell pretty well supported in that in that center support bearing but there looks like there's a small pin that sits in the center for like locking it and it looks like it's like millimeters of or a breeze dick worth of clearance so when we drop it down we just be careful we don't take the drive shaft with us yeah all right let's hit the crane be a bit stuck or something because that's all that's all undone. Alright I'm gonna look it up more. Yep, see what it does. It's like catching over here. This side's separating but something here is holding. Oh, it looks a bit anyway. The whole lot at the back is all, it's all down. Yeah. Oh, there's a line pins in the fucking. That's what's catching it. Alignment pins. Yeah. So it's almost like we need to lift the back first because we've angled it. So let's come back down then. And we'll adjust our chain a bit. Yeah. We need to be a bit more back end heavy. Yep. Alright, we'll see how this goes.
back up? Just look it up now. So what do we got? Well, I'm just going to take off this bloody gearbox harness. Just got a ground cable to undo. Um, just to sort of clear a bit of the clutter out there. This is the major ground cable for the um, most of the electrical harness, actually. So, as you can see here, um, unfortunately we couldn't get any good video shots of this, but you can clearly see that there's quite a lot of crud around the base of the oil pump here, uh, a lot of carbon and, and crap essentially. Um, as we'll later find out, um, the con rod had twisted uh, in a way that it actually forced it to uh, crack the wrist pin out of the piston and that's what caused the piston to fail uh, and then as a result it was just leaking combustion straight into the crankcase. So I can't actually take this cylinder out at the moment, um, just don't have the tools on me but uh, I'll see if I can zoom in here but right there you may be able to see it that looks like a crack in the piston. Um, so what I'll do is once I get this over to Brintech, I'll actually have them pull the pull the entire piston out and send me some photos. Um, originally what happened was I did have an issue where the injector ran leaky and I've definitely flooded the cylinder, but I must have cracked the piston in the process. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Unless it's just a bit of um, carbon and... It looks like a crack, but there was a bunch of carbon on the, over the oil pump and all all around here in cylinders four. And cylinder four exhaust port looks horrible, so it's likely it's uh, it's been pretty unhappy for a little while. So as you can see here, this is cylinder four. It's pretty unhappy. Lots of fuel and oil and carbon combination mixture. Um, that's the exhaust port. Um, as you'll see with the following photo, 
Uh, it's pretty obvious that we cracked a piston, um, and that's what majority of this sort of crud was around the oil pump. Um, what we ended up happening was it definitely it was a leaky injector. We were running E85 at the time, stock injectors. We did have charge pipe port injection. Um, now that was triggering a little early, but what ended up happening was we were in a low load situation, and for whatever reason, we went to accelerate in general traffic, and we got the car bucked. The logs showed the AFRs dropped really low to nine, and then they came back up. And as you can see, when the rod broke and, and bent, it twisted the wrist pin on it, and it's that's what's cracked the piston. So the rod would have been the first point of failure, um, and then the piston has just been basically a, an accident waiting to happen after that. Uh, when we pulled the injector out of the engine before we did any of the teardown, the injector leaked fuel straight out of the the end of it. Um, and then on top of that, there was a significant amount of um, fuel actually just pooling on top of piston number four. But thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully we can get to part three up soon.